good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night to all the incredible viewers out there who have been part of this channel from the very beginning. I want to say thank you and I really appreciate the time and effort you have taken so far to be part of my journey. My name is Osman. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create this amazing spinning gear animation effect in PowerPoint on Mac. The first method we're going to be using actually creates this amazing result you see on your left hand side on your screen. And the second method will also result on the second um, image you see on your screen on your right hand side. So this is what we're going to be creating together from scratch. So let's dive into the tutorial and create the uh, spinning gear animation effects we just saw in the preview. So the, a better way to do it is just to go to the Insert tab and on the shape, we have to look for what we call the, uh, the stars and banners and we choose the 32 point stars. We press on the shift button and then drag down the shape to create this amazing shape as you can see here in the video. Position it till we get it right. Next, let's click and drag this yellow point here to extend the ridges on PowerPoint like this. Now, we have to go to the shape and look for oval shape to create our second shape. And we can just drag it somewhere in the slides by pressing shift to create a perfect shape. Um, if it's not perfect, we try to adjust it a little bit to get by all in shift and to adjust it and then place it on top of the initial graphic we created before. Let's select both of the shapes just like this by pressing shift. You can select both of the shape together. Uh, alternatively, you can also just like drag it this way to select both of the shape. And now we can go to merge shapes and underneath intercept. We are almost done with our gear but now we just need one more shape. Let's go to insert shape and then search for the oval shape again one more time and then just drag it down by holding shift like this to create a perfect shape. Place it here in the middle in the middle of the initial graphic and try to select both of them by holding shift then go to the merge shape underneath then subtract like this. Now we have to change the shape color. So we have to go to shape fill uh, on top here and let's choose black. Uh, in other words, the light black. Let's just go and verify it. The light black. Yeah, exactly this one. Uh, I mean, you can choose whatever you want to choose, but this is what I decided for this tutorial. And now we can remove the line by going to the format panel and then we go underneath and select no line just like this. The next, what we got to do is to add our animation. We're going to look for the spin animation and once we have it, we just click on it. And this will give us the spin effect we saw in the preview um, just now, like this. So now we have the spin effects, but we need to change the timing. So we have to click on it and this will open the panel, the effect option. Underneath the timing, we have to look for the uh, repeat uh, function. And so we have to go to and select till the end of slide. In this way, this gear will keep spinning till the slides end. This brings us actually close to the end of the first methodological approach. The only thing that is missing is the picture. So I go to Finder and go to the download session to search for my picture, the famous picture you know of me. And I'm gonna select it, drag it here in this position and then quit the window. You can use whatever products you need to use in the cycle. You can leave it blank if you want. You can use your picture. You can use anything. You can tailor this according to your desired needs. As you can see, my picture is not yet uh, perfectly matching the cycle because of the dimension. So I gonna keep adjusting it till I have the desired uh, measurement that is suitable for this 
circle here so I'll keep doing it till I get the right measurements like this this brings us to the end of this first methodological approach uh, if you like the video so far please don't forget to hit the subscription button below to subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so that you'll be the first to be notified once new video is uploaded and uh, once again thank you and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next uh, approach